All right, I want to start off by saying, Kohala Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and uh, who taught me this truth. And salutations to you all came out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, I, I got a couple of scriptures lined up, but <clears throat> I'm, I wanted to play this video that I found on RT. Right? It's. Uh, it says, U.S. Congress debates whether to expand war powers of Donald Trump, all right? And uh, uh, listen, I'm, I'm going to pretty much let the whole video play the whole way through, and then I'll read the scriptures at the end, all right? And I might go back to the video after I read the scriptures. But uh, it's, it's a good, it's, it's real short, like two, two, uh, two minutes and 34 seconds. But uh, let's jump straight into it. U.S. Congress debates whether to expand war powers of Donald Trump. This is off of RT News. This is about to decide whether to widen the war powers of Donald Trump. The new bill allows... U.S. Congress is about to decide whether to widen the war powers of Donald Trump. The new bill allows the president to decide whom and where to fight, with critics fearing Capitol Hill is formally giving away its controls. Uh, the bill... Okay, so this hasn't happened yet. So there is a, it's a bill that they're trying to get to pass. And we got to remember that these devils do do Let crafty resistance on Wednesday. These devils love to do crafty counsel, man, and they pass a lot of legislation, man. And like we say, Trump is that fucking guy, man. And uh, you, you try to move, like I said, the the spirit that's in the, that's going on right now is war, man. That's all. If you paying attention to the news, it's war, man. We at war, and and this bill that they trying to pass lets you know that we we right we close, man. You almost out of here. Jacob's trouble is about is, is upon us, man. Let me, let me run that back. This Congress is about to decide whether to widen the war powers of Donald Trump. The new bill allows the president to decide whom and where to fight, with critics fearing Capitol Hill is formally giving away its controls. The bill met fierce resistance on Wednesday. We've gone through 17 years of war. You adopt this proposal... Because that's all this devil knows is war. <clears throat> Salakia, <clears throat> that's his. That was his blessing. Esau was blessed with the sword, and that's all he does, man. He takes peace from the earth. So we'll have 170 more. A loaded gun in a desk drawer of the president, ready for him to take it out and shoot it whenever he wants. And it will put war making on autopilot. Do I want my 16 year old going to war against Al Shabaab in Somalia? My boys have never lived in a country that has not been at war, both of them. My son probably can't find Somalia on a map, <laughs> and probably very few people even in this room know who Al-Shabaab is. If Cain Corker passes and there are no limits on war, uh, let it be known that there were at least some of us who warned. He said if it passes and there is no... Um, Salak, let, let me run that back. Listen to what he just said. Listen to what this guy just said. Let me run it back a little bit closer. Because it's going to pass. That bill is going to fucking pass. Because th this man's economy is done. They're, we're at war. This man is done. He's done. Esau is through. This place is done. And it's, it's all through Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. The power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But listen to what this guy's going to say. Well, even in this room, know who Al Shabaab is. If Cain Corker passes and there are no limits on war, uh, let it be known that there were at least some of us who warned. If it passes and there are no limits on war, there is not going to be any limits on war. And I, I'm gonna play this out to the end because look at what they're trying to sneak into the bill at the end of it. That's because that that that's concerning the the men of the Lord, man. Like I said, they're gonna come down on us. They're gonna <laughs> this famine of the word is gonna be upon us. Everything that you see that we've been talking about, martial law, uh, the economy is going to crash, uh, <laughs> World War Three. It's we are we right here. We at the end. This is the latter times that you read about in the scriptures. And the men that you see uh, on the corners, we are the prophets of Yah of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, coming back, standing in our lots, prophesying against this wicked ass kingdom, Babylon, which is America the Great. Okay. But let's, let's play this out. The new bill seeks to replace the 2001 War Authorization Act. Among other things, it grants the president the right... If, if you've been fucking paying attention, man, this guy is... is kind, he, he's... he's like it's, They playing chess, man, and all of... He's moving all his pieces, man. He moved the pawn out there. 
You know, he's moving the the the, the rook, the knight, and all that stuff. And he's they all lining up the pieces, man. We right there. How y'all can't see, man? Right to include new groups on the terrorist list without informing this is the, the public. The, oh, Salah. Interestingly, though, uh, one of the legislators Salah, behind this the is the main point that I wanted to get to. This is a, this is this is this, list this, this is about us, man. It says new U.S. war bill terror list expansion can be kept from public. So it, it, on on the back end of this bill, right, that they trying to pass, they they trying to slip in there also that they about to they can label anybody a fucking terrorist and no one will fucking know. So on some old uh, KGB shit, come get you in the middle of the night and throw you in a fucking FEMA camp. That's what I'm telling you. They about to move on us, man. This shit ain't a fucking game. The dirt, the, the the doors of mercy are closing, man. Yahweh Shai is returning with the mighty angels. You about to fuck this place up, man. Y'all better get right. And it, it ain't no. This is not a fucking game. Okay. Now let me run this back. You know, this is a short clip, but look how powerful this is. That's why if you if you call yourself a man of the Lord, you're supposed to be watching the news, man. You su your eyes supposed to always be on this news, man. Okay? ...to replace the 2001 War Authorization Act. The new bill seeks to replace the 2001 War Authorization Act. Among other things, it grants the president the right to include new groups on the terrorist list without informing the public. Interestingly, I wonder who's going to be on the top of that list. I wonder who. Just like in the Roman Empire, they're going to come and get us, man. Just like they were, they were cru crucifying the men of the Lord, man. They were fucking. They, they were. They were. They, we. The fucking. The, the the when you see uh, Tilakia, I'm getting. I'm getting excited. But the um the Roman Colosseums, right? You. It, they don't tell you that there was Israelites that they were thrown in the fucking. In, in the Colosseum, man, fighting against lions and all type of shit, you know? That was Jake, man. We were the fucking gladiators, man. That was us. They gonna do that shit again, man. They gonna come down on us, man. He, Esau gonna show you he's the fucking devil. He gonna show you his true col his col his true colors, man. Woe to you motherfuckers that are at ease, man. Woe to you niggas, you napkin niggas. Woe to you niggas that got this truth and ain't doing nothing with it. What are you niggas that ain't putting up videos? What are you niggas that just watching this month, these motherfucking videos? Just just sitting back, you know, comfortable, ain't doing a goddamn thing. What are you niggas? Death to you niggas, man. The famine is gonna come, and, and, and shit, you about to see. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, man. This shit, everything the apostles of, of GMS said, starting from apostles to heart on down, is 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 one thousand, was one million percent factual and you niggas gonna see then you shall know a prophet was among you okay let me run this back and i'm gonna jump into the scripture i'm, I'm hot so let me just stick to the scriptures because i just oh man the new bill seeks to replace the 2001 war authorization act among other things it grants the president the right to include new groups on the terrorist list without informing the public Interestingly, though, uh, one of the legislators behind the bill earlier claimed that Congress has been... Grand anyway, let, let, let's get into the scriptures, man. I'm fucking pissed. We are not ignorant of your devices, Satan. We know everything you, we know. We know. We know, okay? All right? I'm going to jump straight into the scriptures. This is, re ba this is fucking simple milk baby scriptures, too, man. So it's no excuse why you're not putting up videos. There's no excuse. No, why? It's no fucking excuse, man. A simple two-minute clip. I just found, and, and, I, and I, 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 I paired it with the scriptures, man. If you, the Lord ain't fucking dealing with you, he's going to fuck you up, man. He said, feed his sheep, man. You know, I'm getting hot. Okay, I'm going to start. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. I'm going to start at 10, all right? The main point is in 12. It says, and I heard a, lo a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and, and the kingdom of our power, Yahweh. Yahawashim Yahawashai, and the power of his uh, Christ, Yahawashai, Hamashiach, okay? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Who is the accuser of our brethren, man? Who 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 is that referring to? Who, who are the two brothers that they're referring to? The two brothers that were warned in the womb, man? That, 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 that you had, she had to inquire of what the hell is going on, man? Why is it thus? And it said two nations, two manner of people. What two manner of people is it talking about? 
You know, oh, y'all motherfuckers want to talk about e Esau done away with and all this dumb shit. You read the fucking scriptures, it's one narrative, man, from Genesis to Revelations. From Genesis to Obadiah to Revelations. It's, it's one common theme, motherfuckers. Okay? Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated, okay? It says, for the accuser of our brethren, and this is why, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, man. Okay? Who the fuck is this talking about? Who is this talking about? Has this came to pass yet? Is this an old prophecy? What is this talking? Break it down. I'm confused. I'm going to start over. And I heard a loud voice. This is Revelations chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power, and the power of his Christ. I'm going to read it verbatim, okay? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Who is that? And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. That's us, man. The hopeful elect, okay? The 144,000 men of Yasharala, okay? Just want to scoff at the fucking sun. I'm hot, man. You niggas are stupid. You, but the the Lord blinded y'all. It's so obvious, man. But you niggas don't watch the news. You don't do nothing. You don't. You don't. You don't read the scriptures. I, I see niggas talking shit, and then they say, "I don't. Well, I don't read the Bible." I'm like, "What the what?" So sh sh be quiet. You have you 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 dealing with men that all we do is study the scriptures. All we do is study the history. All we do is look shit up, man. You niggas ain't doing nothing. You popping mollies, whatever the fuck you niggas doing, man. Shut up. But the, that's why the Lord going to, the Lord, the Lord hates you niggas. He, gonna, he got a special death. That's why he got pestilence, famine. Your women going to be ravished, man. You got, oh, you guys don't understand, man. And eat, I'm going I'm to stick to the script. I'm going to piss. Piss, man. Just thinking about it. Oh, you niggas so stupid. I'm going to jump straight to the point because uh, I'm getting pissed. I want to get through the scriptures, man. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he hath but a short time. Man, this devil is going to come down on us, man. The fat, you niggas ain't going to be able to scoff no more. It's gonna be a sad fucking day, man. You gonna miss us. You gonna you gonna wish, man. All the hell gonna be on y'all niggas. I can't fucking wait till the till the economy crash and he push that chip, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. I can't fucking wait. I can't wait for you guys to eat that humble fucking pie. Run this back, man. Let me run this back from the beginning. This, I wanted this to be short, but listen to this, you dumb niggas, man. He's making moves, man. His time is up. Everybody fucking turning on this man. NATO is fucking, everybody looking at this nigga crazy. Everybody fucking with Russia and China. Okay, that's why this nigga want to move on Syria. And want to fucking flex on Iran. Pay attention, man. They bought to go to war. They we at war. That's why this nigga putting terrorists on every fucking place, man. Canada. Mexico, this nigga putting tariffs on everybody. They at war, bro. The the dollar is through. Are you niggas stupid? I my Salaki, I know the answer. My people are sottish people, man. Hard headed, dumbass idiots. Congress is about to decide whether to widen the war powers of Donald Trump. The new bill allows the president to decide whom and where. You niggas not in my life. It's going to be in your fucking lifetime. Not in my lifetime. It, was it could be. It could be, but I don't know. It could be something else. Fuck you niggas, man. To fight with critics fearing Capitol Hill is formally giving away its controls. The bill met fierce resistance on Wednesday. Sedition amongst the people, man. It met fierce, fierce resistance. When you watching, when you watching, nigga, every country's in an uproar. Peru, Chile, that South America is just a fucking mess. That's a shithole. Venezuela is a shithole. 
That place is done. The people going to be in an uproar. Fucking uh, Greece is done. Their economy's fucked. Are you niggas stupid? Oh, my God, man. The Lord told you. Look at the, 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 the hurricanes, the volcanoes, the earthquakes, the fires. Are you stupid? We've gone through 17 years of war. You adopt this proposal, we'll have 170 more. A loaded gun in a desk drawer of the president, ready for him to take it out and shoot it whenever he wants. And this guy, and, it will, and, and this, they, this nigga, they want to extend this nigga, DJ Trump, this nigga that fucking um, just pop off tweets in the middle of the night. That's why the Lord's he gonna come as a thief in the night. It's everything is playing out perfect. If you got if you got the eyes eye solve, if you could see that we almost out of here, man. They got the perfect guy, Donald Trump. He he's a hothead. <laughs> they want to expand this guy. This guy just gonna flex one night, man. Lock the internet down. Come rounding up niggas, shipping them off. You gonna see, man. You we'll gonna put see. War making on autopilot. Do I want my sixteen year old going to war? against al-shabaab and somalia my boys have never and let's not forget the race wars <laughs> fucking uh the racial tension is at an all-time high man everything is on a bubble man that's about to explode lived in a country and, and don't think that 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 esau not watching too they watching all our videos man esau watching he knows not to mention you got the fucking militia up in the the, the militia up in the mountains and shit they gon' they got they gon' flex, man. You niggas is through. You two thirds, and you niggas is through, man. <sighs> through, you know. Tree that has not been at war. Both of them. My son probably can't find Somalia on a map, <laughs> and probably very few people, even in this room, know who Al Shabaab is. If Kane Corker passes and there are no limits on war, uh, let it be known that there were at least some of us who warned. The new bill. Yeah, there were some of us that was out there sighing and crying, prophesying against this wicked-ass kingdom. Yeah, we out there. The men of the Lord are on, on them corners. The, you, the who you motherfuckers scoffing at. But you're going to see, there was a prophet among you. Will seeks to replace the 2001 War Authorization Act, among other... All you napkin niggas going to see, too. All you sideline Israelites, you're going to see. You're going to see who had the 100% truth. When I talk about GMS does not have the 100% truth. We're going to see in that day who was right. One of us is right. One of us is wrong. But one of us is deadly wrong. Other things, it grants the president the right to include new groups on the terrorist list without informing the public. Interestingly, though, uh, one of the legislators... Off it. I'm off it. One more scripture and I'm, I'm going to shut it down. <laughs> I'm not even so hot no more because you know the Lord said it is what it is, man. It was, and this is a uh, second Ezra, right? Re, re, chapter sixteen. Read this whole chapter, man. I'm not gonna read it. Be diligent and read it your own goddamn self. You know, I read it. I read it over and over. You read it your damn self. You know, he ain't gonna give you everything. But like I said, um, I do my videos for the elect anyway, the hopeful elect, and and, and, and you know, I know y'all diligent. I ain't, you know, I be I be I be getting hot because I, I ain't. It's not it's not tort. Uh, um, it's not going out towards you guys, man. It's going out to these two thirds, man. These scoffers, these idiots that can't see. I know you guys can see. Like I said, these are milk scriptures to us, but they can't see it. But you know, it's their lot. But anyway, I'm gonna read this scripture and I'm gonna shut it down. Lord willing, it was edifying, you know. Um, like I said, tighten up, man, because they about to flex on us, man. I've been, I've been said that. I, I feel it, man. They gonna flex. They about to move on us. That famine gonna come, and the only thing your your guns, your muscles, nothing gonna help us but this cloak that Yahweh Shiver is gonna provide, man. And you gotta get right. You gotta give diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right, get out there to them camps, man. Stop being on the fucking sideline. Okay, you're gonna wish in that day. You're gonna wish that you was active. You're gonna wish, man. You're gonna wish, and it's coming real soon, man. Anyway, Second Ezra, uh, chapter sixteen. I'm going to start at verse 67. It says, Behold, Yahweh himself is a judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you, and deliver you from all trouble. And like I said, Jacob's trouble is upon us, man. It's coming. 
You can't run from it. You can't run from the Most High. You cannot. Okay? It says, for verse 68, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you. Like the scripture said, some of us are going to get, you know, cast in a prison. Some of us are, are ordained to be martyrs, man. But, the, but you know, take that shit with good cheer, man. That's a quick, easy death, man. And you out of here. And the dead in your house shall rise first, man. So that's a quick death. And when, when brothers start to see you fall, and, and, and the scoffers start to see you fall, and the men of the Lord, get, they're going to know. They're going to know. And this shit going to speed up. And you're going to get your get back. Because <laughs> what? He sent for many uh, hunters. I mean, Salakia. He sent, he's, uh, he sent it for fishers. But then what? We shall be hunters. Okay? But you got to give diligence. He that endures to the end, him shall be saved. I'm paraphrasing, probably butchered it. But anyway, it says, uh, verse 60, uh, uh, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Okay, so like I said, they're going to come down with that martial law, man. And your fucking family members going to be snitching. It's going to be all hell, man. And the only the only cloak you're going to have is that protection from your how boss, Shem, your shy. Okay. And how do you get that protection? By, by doing the work. You, we have faith, but you have to have works. Faith without works is dead. All right? But uh, this is the main point that I wanted to get is verse 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall, take away, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. Okay? So I'm going to read that over slowly. Alright? Verse 7. This is Second Ezra chapter in the, in the Apocrypha. Like I said, read the whole chapter. The whole chapter is good, man. Stop being lazy. Read. Okay? The scriptures say, Blessed is he that readeth. Alright? Second Ezra chapter 6. I'm going to shut it down after this. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 71. It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the, as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, hear, o ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Because like I said, this is for the elect, man. Anytime you see beloved... That ain't that ain't everybody. That ain't the that ain't all nations and all that bullshit. That's the elect he's talking. The hundred and forty four thousand men, okay, of Yasharala. It says, "Hear, O ye, Salakia. Hear, O ye, me, hear, O ye, ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, Jacob's trouble, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid." Neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, okay? And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, okay? So like I said, faith plus works. You can't keep all the commandments, but you have to try. You have to rehearse the, right, the righteous acts, man. Give, you got to do some, put forth some kind of effort, man. Okay, verse 76, and the guide of, of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, the fuck is this, Salakia, hey, I'm about to shut it down anyway, <clears throat> verse 76, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith, saith the Lord, Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down, because like I said, you can't keep all the commandments, but you have to try and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are abound with their sins, and are covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered with bushes, and though 
and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. Okay, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Hopefully somebody was at, I mean, hopefully somebody was at a fight, at least one person, you know. And uh, that's all I care about, man. Fuck you, scoffers. Death to the two-thirds. Death to America. And like I said, Shalom, keep pushing. We almost out of here, man. We almost out of here. Be diligent. Be circumspect. And uh, with that, Shalom.